In today's video, we're gonna show you how to properly file an acrylic overlay. We're gonna start by electric filing down the bulk. I wanna make sure I'm looking at the nails like this and I'm gonna match the tip of the bit to this side of the nail, the middle of the bit to the middle of the nail, and the base of the bit to this side of the nail. I'm starting at 14,000 RPMs. And Tracy reminded me to- Pull it towards you. Yeah. I've got to pull the file towards myself in one direction. I also noticed the e-file is- It's very gentle, actually. Oh, I see. See how it kind of, it starts to shape. Yeah. Yeah. And then coming down the middle, you're using the middle part the of middle your- middle part of yeah. that. And as you come around- you Use like the heel, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, look at that. Matching the bit to that part of the nail is giving me a nice roadmap to follow. Yeah, so you want to just tuck this side in a little bit more. Let's see if you can see it, right? Yeah, yes, I see right it. Here. That edge right there. Yep. And turn me however you need. Don't turn yourself. Don't make yourself okay. uncomfortable. I got you. Yeah. I'm trying not to get so obsessed with filing and filing and filing. I just want to make sure I get the right shape taking down that bulk. Super key. The rest will just will come up the sides with the hand file. Okay. I shape it with the oh, hand I file. See. So this is just I'm just taking bulk down. Yeah. Right. The heavy duty stuff. The refining will be with the hand file. So the same deal here. Same deal. So you're not going to have to do a whole lot to that. Yeah. It's really the middle part, right? Mm -hmm. But you can see by using that zones or the front, the middle, the back, you're kind of creating that arch yeah. for that nail. Yeah. It's it's that nice. Uh... I like how you're rotating the finger so you can see all areas of it. I'm trying to. I really am trying to, and if you're a beginner like me, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Sometimes it's hard to see, you know, but I'm just trying to follow that method and get it done. It's hard for me to tell. Yep. But I'm what, gonna come what, down what, that what? side a little bit more. Okay. So look at it. You see what I'm talking about? Just a little bit yeah. closer here. Oh, yeah, okay. I mean, we could do it with a hand file, but electric file is going to be much, much faster. And you can literally come down the side. Positioning the bit perpendicular to the side of the nail like this was massive. It really allowed me to file the sides properly. Oh, I see. There you go. See the difference? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On this side, you can literally... Like that, oh, yeah. Use that back end. And I think that's plenty. So try that straight up on that one. Oh yeah. See? Yeah. Big difference, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh wow. It really yeah, that's a huge difference. It looks like a nail. It looks it actually looks like a nail now. Yep. Like it's not coming sticking out on that side. Yep. And you can use the back end on that side. Okay. You're good? Oh look at that. Look at the difference. I know, huge difference. Right? Huge, yeah, yeah, I can totally see it. Good job. Before refining the nail, I gotta season my files by taking off the edges just like this. This is just so you don't cut your clients. So start here. Yep, straight up and down. And there's not a lot to do. Exactly. I mean, there's a real, I, I, this nail looks good. I'm stoked. I mean, is there much to do here, Trace? Well, so look down the barrel. You can blend that tip in out a little bit more, make it a little thinner if you want. So my focus was just to thin the tip out, surf it across the nail, final refinements, so the nail looks good. Okay. It's pretty good, right? Yeah. On the next nail, I lined it up, and Tracy had another really great tip for me. And you know you got it when you see, so if you go file it again, and then yeah. come straight up like this, yeah. right? Yeah. It kind of draws the dust up and let go. And oh, when yeah. you see yeah. that dust line coming straight out from the groove, you got Good. it. Good, okay. Now tuck in a little bit more. I want you to choke up on that thumb so you were putting a little more pressure behind it. This was another awesome tip. Choking up, I felt like I had way more control to get the file in there and file the sides properly. Got it? Yeah. I think so. 
So it's just the refinement on top? So as I was refining the nail, I was still struggling with holding it and I couldn't feel comfortable. So once again, Tracy came in with another incredible tip. So I want you to get more used to like, it's just like surfing across it. Okay. Instead of just using the front end, you're kind of- The whole, the, yeah. You know, pecking, okay. like use that whole thing. Yeah. And you just put more pressure where you need to take something down, you lighten it up through, and that just blends everything in. This was really big. I felt so much more comfortable now surfing across the nail. Dust on the nail is very deceiving, so I decided to take some swipe and remove it so I can get a better look at the nails. Free edge, shape it. Yeah, free edge a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's a little... The free edge just needed some slight touching up, but overall, I think I'm almost done. Last thing you yes. want to do is you want to look at it from my point of view. I actually couldn't believe that this view made a huge difference, but looking at it from the client profile, I could see an additional sort of like bulky area, and I was able to take it down and smooth out. That also looks good. Yeah, that one, that one looks good. That's exactly what I was seeing. Good job. Here's the final look. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I would love your feedback. We're giving away a free nail zoom class. Subscribe and comment below to enter.